Today, I'm gonna to be making the Betty Crocker Reese's Mini Pieces Cookie Kit. This makes 12 cookies. Uh, the kit includes mini Reese's Pieces candies, chocolate frosting, and peanut butter cookie mix. This was $4.89 at Meyer, and all you need for this uh, kit are two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. You want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and I put a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet just because I like parchment paper. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Okay so there's your Reese's Pieces. And your peanut butter cookie mix. It's clearly labeled. And then this is going to be your uh, chocolate frosting. And it does say chocolate, uh, uh, milk chocolate. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to uh, stir the cookie mix, oil, and water in medium bowl until a soft dough forms. I can tell you right now, these are going to be small cookies because this is not a lot of mix here, but you're only making 12 cookies. So what you want to do now is shape the dough into 12 balls and place them about an inch apart on your cookie sheet. Take your fork and you make a, a crisscross pattern on the top. Normally, uh, this is the same thing you do with the refrigerated cookie dough. The only difference is for me is I usually get a little plate of sugar and I dip my fork in the sugar and then I, then I press it down and make my shape because it uh, helps, it, uh, it keeps it from sticking like this. So this cookie's gonna be a little bit bigger. So now these are gonna go in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna put mine in for eight minutes because these are pretty tiny and then we'll be back. So this is how the cookies look like when they come out and you have to cool them completely before you decorate them. So I'm gonna let them lay right here for probably 15, 20 minutes and then we'll come back to decorate the, the tops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open both bags of my Reese's Pieces. It says if you want to, of course this is Betty's tip at the very bottom of the box. Um, it says if you want to, you can take one of these bags and mix it in with your mix, your cookie mix, and then use whatever's left for decorations. Of course, I didn't see that, because um, Cause Tim didn't read all the I didn't read. Yeah. <laughs> I don't read all the directions at once, no. So what you do is you knead your chocolate, which I did, and then you cut a corner, and then they did it the easy way. They just put it uh, right in the center. That's probably what I'll do too. And then uh, put your Reese's Pieces on it. So let's see, I'm gonna do two at a time. I'll do this one and I'll do this one. And I'm just gonna use a spoon and I may need more. I, d I didn't know how much to get though. So yes, I'm clearly going to need more than that. want to take your Reese's Pieces and it says that each cookie can have up to 12 so you could um, make you a little jack-o-lantern person or you could totally just sprinkle them in the middle like they did on the box which is what I would do which is yeah what Kevin would do so I'm gonna make one like this and he's very happy and then we'll do one. Yeah, isn't he cute? And then we'll do one where we just sprinkle it on top. There we go. 
So as you, I wanted to show you, uh, as you can see, that you got plenty of chocolate frosting. You got plenty of Reese's Pieces. Uh, so you could very easily do what they said and add it into the mix if you wanted to. Or you can just put them on the top just like this. But you do get enough to cover all 12 plus more. Okay, the calories, just in case you're curious, it says per mix and decorations, it's 270 calories. Uh, as prepared, so once you add the oil, it is 310 calories is that each? Uh, for two. Okay. For two. And of course, that's going to depend on uh, if you weigh it. So really, I mean, it's a guesstimate, but I'm going to get this one because you put a ton. I put the chocolate on and Kevin put the Reese's Pieces on. Three be told, there's tons of Reese's Pieces in Mm-hmm. It's good. I like the um, I like the texture of the cookie. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's a little flatter, so it's a little more dense than just like a regular peanut butter cookie. It's not squishy or mushy. Right. Um, it's a little. It's firm to hold the the stuff. Yes. Yes. It's very nice. Now, could you buy refrigerated peanut butter sugar cookie dough and do this yourself? Mm -hmm. Yes, you could. Oh yeah. Um, and honestly. It was going to be cheaper. I think it'd be cheaper because this mix was four eighty nine. You could buy one tube of the refrigerated um, peanut butter dough, and you could buy one package of Reese's Pieces at the checkout, and it's going to be cheaper than this. Of course, you buy frosting too. Oh, I forgot the frosting. So there's a dollar. So there's a dollar frosting. So you're right. Around, you're right around three fifty you know or so. Yeah. Or four dollars. Uh, actually, probably closer to four dollars by the time you. You're but gonna, you're going to make a lot more. Yes, you're going to be able to make a lot more cookies from that refrigerated mm -hmm. dough. This only and makes the chocolate frosting. Chocolate frosting is going to be a lot more. Yeah, too, the so. chocolate frosting. You're going to have it. If you buy a tub of frosting, you're going to have at least half that tub left over for something else mm -hmm. if you wanted to. So so. Um, you're, you're probably going to pay about the same amount, but you're probably going to get at least twice as many cookies. Out yes. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely do think it would be a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're going to get more. But I do think this is a good kit for yeah. if you don't want to fool with it, if you don't want to have to go buy the cookie dough and then buy the frosting and then buy the candy, it's all in one spot for you here. And all we had to do was add vegetable oil and water, which most people have already in their kitchen anyway. It, it's not like it required an egg or something like that. Right. So I thought it was really yeah. easy to make. Yeah. As far as the peanut butter goes, um, I do think you can taste the peanut butter mm -hmm. in these cookies. Yeah, it's not overpowering though. So it's just like any other typical uh, peanut butter cookie. I'm making a mess. It's like any other peanut butter cookie mix. It's... Um, the peanut butter is not overpowering because I don't. I never thought peanut butter cookies had a strong peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. These are no different. They they have that very light peanut butter flavor, and you but you do get the Reese's Pieces flavor too, so mm -hmm. that adds to it. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate's good too. And I like the texture of the Reese's Pieces. Yeah, so they're overall pretty good. Just don't mm -hmm. expect it to be like super peanut buttery peanut butter. Um, they're still good though. No, it's not like a. It's not like a nutter butter, no. but it does have a nice peanut butter flavor yeah. to it. And I do like the chocolate frosting. Mm -hmm. Chocolate yeah. frosting is nice too. That's yeah, really good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.